Alright, during one of the comment discussions, someone said that Carl Runfelt, whatever his name is, is a billionaire and he became a billionaire within three years. And they want to go against my thesis that starting a profitable business, a successful business, is the fastest way to get the wealth. This individual went on and on and on and said that billionaires going to be created by crypto and millionaires going to be created by crypto. I'm here to say on the record that Carl Renfeld is lying about being a billionaire. Let me say this again. Carl Renfeld is lying about being a billionaire. He has a channel, The Moon, and he has another channel, Carl Renfeld. And I'm about to go ahead and drop the game that Carl is playing. First of all, Carl started Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin in 2017. And at the price of 1100 bucks, he would have had to have 15,000 Bitcoin to be classified as a billionaire when Bitcoin was $68,000. Now, here's the issue with Carl having 15,000 Bitcoin in 2017 or even 2018. If he had bought 15,000 Bitcoin, it would have cost him $10 million at 1100 bucks. See, let me go ahead and say this. You clowns think that you're gonna buy a little Bitcoin and you're gonna get rich. Here's the math. Men lie, women lie, math doesn't lie. You don't have enough fucking money to get rich with Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency. Carl Renfeld would have had to spend $10 million in 2017 when the Bitcoin price was $1,100 to be classified as a billionaire when Bitcoin was $68,000. Now, what do we know about Carl Renfeld? He was a cashier in a grocery store mere months before. So I know he didn't have $10 million. He didn't have $10 million. And this is creating a false narrative of what I'm gonna call the crypto punk, because this is some of the things I discovered this morning doing my research. Carl has a channel, The Moon, and this channel is very important. Now, do I believe that Carl Renfeld might have 300, 500, maybe even a thousand Bitcoin? He can be in that range. And if he had a thousand Bitcoin, that would put him at 50, 60, 70 million which is quite remarkable. But how did he get there? He has a YouTube channel that provides active cash flow. So what he did is he started his YouTube channel, he started talking about crypto, and he deployed that money into Bitcoin. But even if his channel was making $100,000 a month, that's only 1.2 million a year. There's still not enough money to get 15,000 Bitcoin. And one of the things that you people I'm gonna be as kind as I can. Many of you are hoping that this false narrative is true so some of it will rub off on you. That's why you are so quick to believe the bullshit. Carl is fucking lying. He is not a billionaire. He did not, he did not have the level of capital to become a billionaire when Bitcoin was cheap. And if Carl dollar cost average and bought Bitcoin in 2017, 2018, 2019, his cost basis would have increased. He would have had to go from 10 million to about 30 million to get 15 mil, 15,000 Bitcoin. The men lie and women lie and the math lie. There's no way that this motherfucker is a millionaire. But because you want to believe, and this guy said, that you, you can start a business, you can't become a billionaire in three years. And now I literally, Jeff Bezos became a billionaire in seven years. Um, Emily Weiss became a billionaire in three and a half years through a business. And here's the thing, Emily Weiss, who's the founder of Glossier, is still making money today. Her money, like Bitcoin, is almost under 20,000. And just this week, I had people who wanted to bet me that it wasn't going, like in the morning when I wake up, it'll probably be under 20,000. And when it goes under 20,000, that's when it's really gonna start deteriorating. Because I found another crypto channel, uh, Bitcoin Boy Crypto, BitBoy Crypto. And this is one of the things that I see 
These channels induce you to invest in cryptocurrency or Eurythium, but they never mention because the BitBoy Crypto has 1.4 million subscribers. This guy can literally be making $150,000, $200,000 a month from YouTube. Um, Carl Renfeld, he could be making 40, 50, 60, who knows? Because unless you actually log into their dashboard and see what their CPM is, you have no clue. But I guarantee you, both Carl Renfeld and Bitcoin Board are making serious money while they're telling you, they're telling you to invest in cryptocurrency when they have an active cash flow device that is putting tens of to some, you know, in the, in the case of, I'm almost sure that BitBoy Crypto is making six figures a month from his YouTube channel. Now, they're telling you to invest in crypto, but they're doing something totally different. Graham Stephan, meet Kevin. All of these people are telling you to do something, but they all have YouTube channels that pay them substantial sums of money, and they're telling you, yeah, invest, dollar cost average. While I over here have this YouTube channel, I think Graham Stephan makes $300,000, $400,000 per month. I mean, you know, I'm trying to be kind because this is what I call the crypto hype cycle. It's hype. It is purely hype. I sit by my statement that 99% of cryptos are gonna to go to zero. Like Terra Luna, like I, I finally caught up with the dude who lost all his money. He lost a lot of money in Terra Luna and he's like, man, I don't wanna hear it. I was like, no, no, you were arguing with me. You were, you were arguing with me. You were telling me that I needed to get in crypto or I was gonna regret it. And this is one of the things that really gets me. I got people who cannot even afford to pay cash for a Honda telling me how to get rich. See, and I saw a comment of uh, being smarter than you doesn't necessarily mean profit, being more profitable than you. Um, all this, this is why I put up the moist man video. There's a lot of moistness in the comment section because these men who are completely moist, uh, completely, um, impotent they're mentally and fiscally impotent and when they come across a dominant masculine man they get triggered and they want to start throwing rocks at the computer screen and start talking yin yang because if you believe Carl Renfeld is a billionaire you are a dumbass because you don't know how to do critical analysis you don't know how to think independently because I went through Carl's channel he doesn't display his YouTube income and he doesn't show his Bitcoin wallet why would you believe somebody who refuses to show you any proof of their wild claims? Because like, once again, there was this girl and they were saying she was a billionaire and I went ahead and checked her. She was worth 450 million. All right, let me say something. Let me say something. If you can get to a net worth of $10 million, 10 million, you will not be in the top 1%. You would be in the top point. 5%. You can have an amazing life with a net worth of $10 million. You can, you can buy a Lambo, you can buy a million dollar house, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to be a billionaire and people, and this is part of the crypto hype cycle, what I'm gonna call, like I'm creating a new playlist called the Crypto Punks, because they're straight up lying to you. They get you all to buy Bitcoin so you click on their ads on their YouTube channel, you know, Bitcoin, um, crypto stake, and then I had someone, oh yeah, and this is something else too. I ask a simple question. When someone comes into the comment section, like I made seven figures. And I was like, I think you're lying. I will say that straight up. Send proof and receipts to Glendon at savagefinance.org. And I've had many of these so-called crypto millionaires tell me, I ain't sending no proof. I ain't sending no proof. And then he went on in this litany. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I'm like, you know why you're not sending proof? And I'm going to tell you something. When I fly off and fly first class and I meet perfect strangers who don't know me from Adam, who will tell me how much money their business is making easily. It's effortless. So if you knowing my stance on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, if you are truly, truly making that kind of money, 
you would have no problem rubbing my face in it and sending me real proof. The fact that your bitch ass will not send proof means you're a fucking liar. And that's the moist man. The moist man would rather appear to be good than to actually be good. That's the moist man syndrome. Fake it, playing games, just straight up lying. The moist man will tell a girl he has a six, uh, a 12 inch dick. And then when he puts it in, she's like, is it in? Oh yeah, baby, I'm giving you these 12 inches. I'm giving you these 12 inches. I'm gonna say something. And a lot of you are gonna get triggered because I'm gonna talk about sex. I got a big fucking dick. And when I put it in, I've had girls, literally when I pull my dick out, they're like, if you ain't getting no kind of looks or you're not hearing this. I remember the first time I was fucking this woman who had never had a big dick. She had moderate sized small dicks. And she was like, oh my God, it's so deep. She was losing her fucking mind. So if you don't have those kind of frame of references, you don't have a big dick, you little dick motherfucker, you little lying ass crypto punk. Be lying. Cause you would rather appear to be bigger than you are than to actually be real and make real money and start a business. My thesis, and I, I will say it to all of you crypto punks, that's my name, because a lot of you are just fucking lying. Because when a grown ass man says, send me proof, and you claim to be a man, but you go straight into bitch mode, well, I'm not sending any proof. I don't have nothing to prove to you, lying ass motherfucker. I don't even know why you watch this channel, because I would challenge you. And also, don't be trying to dictate to me the terms like I had someone try to explain to me what intellectual property is. My book, Making Money A to Z, was intellectual property. Any creation, whether it's a book, an online course, a song, that's intellectual property. And he went into these, this, I'm like, stop, stop that shit. I actually make money from intellectual property. I know very well what the fuck it is. You don't, because you ain't doing shit. But... The crypto punks, like in the morning, the way that Bitcoin, I've been tracking it, it's been winding down for a month because it'll go up, then it'll go down. It'll go up and then it'll go down. Bitcoin is looking to be under 20,000 either later on today or early in the morning. Because in the morning, that seems to be when there's a lot of selling happening in the day, it, they start buying and the price goes up. And I'm gonna be watching it. And I've had numerous fools who wanted to bet. I had this one fool, uh, I ain't gonna top 10,000 in escrow. Bitch, you don't even have the fucking money. I just spent $18,000 for a fucking bedroom set. I got $10,000 that I can put in an escrow account to bet your weak, moist, lying ass. Cause see, this is where it gets interesting with this bet. Because I'm not gonna bet you and go on YouTube and say we're, ha we're in an active bet and I have $10,000 I don't even know if you have fucking $10,000. And if you don't have $10,000, we're not going to engage in a bet because you're cheating with your bitch moist ass. You're cheating. But once again, this Carl Renfeld, once again, uh, this is something else I'm getting ready to do. Um, I'm getting ready to switch it all back to B-School for Hustlers. I'm having some problems with Teachable. And fortunately, I did not start building out the courses. So there's something new that's going to come there. And I think you're going to really like it because I am going to teach a class on critical analysis skills because this guy was went on and on and on talking about he became a billionaire. He ain't a billionaire player. He is lying to you. And because I'm not going to say you're stupid, I'm not going to say you're stupid. That's going to be condescending. I'm going to say that you don't have enough seasoning. You don't have enough, um, experience you don't have enough like i've been crunching numbers for my business god since the since i was selling office furniture i always crunch numbers and when i went to carl carl's channel and i went through and did my simple analysis and then i went and looked at what the price of bitcoin was in 2017 and realized that he had to have 10 million dollars to buy 
15,000 Bitcoin in 2017. And it's publicly known that he was a cashier in a grocery store. He didn't have 10, he's lying. And if Carl, if you see this video, I want to see you send me a snapshot of your wallet. Oh, and there's something else too. If Carl is making this claim to be a billionaire, he would need to have 45,000 Bitcoin right now to be classified as a billionaire because Bitcoin has melted down. He ain't, a mil he ain't a billionaire. I do believe he's a millionaire. He could have 50, 60 million, which is quite an accomplishment. But because of the social media hype, because of the moist man syndrome, people want to make these wild and exaggerated claims. Like when I tell you, you know, they enroll in intellectual property school, I have this disclaimer, cause you know, I'm, it's on record, I made three million. Uh, you can take my class, you can learn all my, st my dirty tricks, you can learn all my secrets, you're not gonna make three million dollars. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking lie to you. You can make five to 15,000 for the average person, that's life-changing money. But you're not gonna make the type of money that I make because I have way more business experience than you. You could get there someday, but in the beginning, we're looking at five, 15, some people might make 50. But I'm just keeping it real because I am not gonna sit here and lie to you like the Carl Rick Renfelts of the world. He is lying to you. And you believe it because you don't have enough sense to know better. He is lying. He's not a billionaire. I would bet Carl $100,000 that he is not a billionaire. And Carl, if you're watching, what we're going to have to do is you're going to take $100,000. At least I know you have that. And we're going to have to put it in an escrow account. And then we will have to see if you're actually a billionaire. Because once again, with the pro and once again, he needed 15,000 Bitcoin when the price was 68,000. He needs way more now. And based upon his YouTube channel, his history, he does not have the level of capital to buy that much Bitcoin. It ain't in the cards. So Carl, if you're watching, if you accept the challenge, we can do this. Cause I think you're fucking lying. I think you're fucking lying. And I have a feeling that Carl will not step up to the pot. He will not step up to the channel cause one of the things that the crypto punks do is induce you to get you all jazzed up with crypto while they're making all of this YouTube money. Don't, don't do what I do. Don't have an active cash flow business. No, 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 no. Invest in crypto. Invest in Bitcoin. Invest in Bitcoin. That's what you should do. Well, I got this cash cow over here of a YouTube channel making all this money. He is lying to you. And BitBoy Crypto, I haven't really gone through his channel, but I went through it and I don't see any evidence of a Bitcoin wallet. And I don't see any evidence of a, how much are YouTube? Because once again, if you're listening to a YouTuber in the financial space, understand that if they have a sizable audience and they have videos that get 50 to 100,000 views, they are making crazy money. They're making more money per month than the average person can invest and save up in a lifetime. Carl is lying to you. And once again, this person, you know, I, I, cause I call it the new Jack swag. I'm young, I'm doing this new technology. These old heads don't understand the new crypto. They don't understand the new technology. I understand money. And I'm gonna say something that's gonna be extremely profound. I'm fucking richer than you are. And your stupid ass is too arrogant, too conceited to concede to that because you think you're smarter because I'm buying cryptocurrency. Yeah, man. Enjoy the decline. Enjoy the global reset. Because right here, we talk, we keep it on the real. We keep it on, we keep it between the lanes. We keep it on the real. This is where the rubber meets the fucking road. You lying little bitches.